Hey YouTube, it's King Bob. Guess what? I am currently number 10 global using one of the strongest troops in the builder base, Super Pekka's. Let's watch some replays with him against the top builder base players. Jumping into the first replay, we are up against Mako. He finished number one global in the first builder hall 10 season. Amazing player, amazing base builder, and Pekka's are gonna wreck his base. So I'm coming in here with four Pekka's, a giant and a bomber. And watch what I do here. Battle machine in the corner to distract the lava launcher, charge up his ability. And then I go in with a giant followed by my Pekka's and a bomber. And look at this giant value. It's taking two archer towers, a double cannon and a mega Tesla. It's taking a ton of DPS for my Pekka's and all my Pekka's are at full health moving into the base. I pop a bunch of abilities to break through that crusher and get towards that mega Tesla nice and early and check it out half the base is already destroyed i have my battle machine now fully charged up its ability is swinging it's taking down all these buildings and this base just goes down it falls down to pekka's this base here really strong base against baby dragons cannon carts but the thing is when you make a base strong against all the strategies in the game a lot of times you can't make it strong against pekka's and pekka can just come in and wreck the base so we're gonna get the nice three star in this first stage. And now we're moving on to the stage two here. I'm going in with all Pekka's once again. I'm not even bringing any other troops in my reinforcement, but more Pekka's and in they go. I'm going in with my battle machine in the corner. Once again, it survived with almost full hit points. So I'm bringing it in on the stage two and I just spam in all my Pekka's down on this bottom right side of the base. And the base is gonna go down. Pekka's are just so strong. I mean, look at this. I have so many Pekka's alive. This is a really good base layout. I know it's falling down super easily, but guys, this is just because Pekka's are so strong. They are so hard to counter. It's really hard to make a base that can defend Pekka's, but also defend all of the other strategies in the game. So a lot of times you find these bases that are weak to Pekka's and they just go down. So that's a nice thing. Next replay is against Zaki Clashing yt a name in the builder base that's for sure and i'm coming in here with the same approach but look at this my bomber hits a push trap really nice trap placement here and i lose my bomber but i'm using pekka's it's no problem if i lose my bomber pekka's are so strong so watch this i just spam them all in towards the center of the base i have one go around the outside and look how nicely these paths they all split up i got some going in on this giant cannon i've got some going in towards the center, towards this expo. I got some nice chains for my battle machine there. And it goes in and takes out that double cannon. And then this base is already fallen. He only has his Mega Tesla and an Arch Tower alive. And this Mega Tesla, look at this. It's separated in an island compartment and it manages to stay alive. All my Pekka's path around it. Really nice base building technique to counter Pekka's. But I just have so many left. They should easily be able to overrun this Mega Tesla, and that's exactly what they're gonna do. They go in there, finish off the Arch Tower, and then go for the Mega Tesla. That's all what it took with Pekka's to take down this base. And let me tell you, that base design is incredibly strong. Zaki Clashing did not make it, but he was running it, he copied it, and yeah, it's going down to Pekka. So now we're in on the stage two, but instead of bringing more Pekka's, since I only had two Pekka's to survive, I'm gonna go in with Cannon Carts. This is a really good tip when you're doing Pekka spam and you lose a bunch of Pekkas, you lose your bomber. The best thing you can do in the stage two is to bring two can of cards. So that's what I'm doing here on this base. I'm going to use these can of cards on the right side. First, starting with one in case he's got traps, you know, Tesla's mines, all of that. I only have one there. But the second I realize there are no traps there, I deploy my second one. And I'm just going to let these can of cards do their thing here they're paired up together so they're firing two shots off at once and they're going through these buildings like nothing they're going to go through this entire right side the only thing that can shoot them is that multi-mortar so this whole right side is going to go down and then i also have my battle copter because the battle machine did die so i'm sending that in at the bottom because there's only one firecracker down here at the bottom so i can use my battle copter to like take down the crusher and all that and it also finds a tesla i'll pop the copter ability to finish off that tesla and yeah the base is pretty much done right now i have the cannon cards 
still doing their thing. They're going in for the guard post troops right now. They're gonna grab that archer coming out of the guard post. Soon they'll get the barbarian. And I still have my two P.E.K.K.A.s to deploy. So when I was doing this attack live, I was actually running out of time. There was not that much time left on this base. This attack cut it really close. And the reason it did was just, I was being very patient with these cannon carts. You see, I now deploy my P.E.K.K.A.s with 30 seconds left in the attack. And here's what I do. I deploy one P.E.K.K.A. on the left side with the ability. The other one does not have his ability. So the reason I deploy the one with the ability on the left is to take down this crusher. I need its ability to get that out, get through the wall quicker. And then the other one goes in at the top just so I have my troops spread out to finish off all these last defenses. Pop the cards into mortar mode to snipe out that firecracker real quick because they can't shoot it over the wall normally. And there's a six star, another six star with P.E.K.K.A.s. Let's get into one more replay. Next up is Merciful AJ. Aster on YouTube, a great YouTuber, but here we go. We're gonna get in with the six star. So, same army. Once again, I deploy Battle Machine in the corner to charge up its ability, and it's also placed on this gold storage. So, it's gonna take a while to take it out and charge up its ability. And then I go in with my giant, with my P.E.K.K.A.s, and my bomber on this right side. And the reason I go in on this right side is because I can take out the Mega Tesla and the Giant Cannon, the Roaster. All these really high DPS buildings I can take out really quickly by coming in on this right side and going for them right away. And look at this bomber bounce. I open up the entire base with that second bomber bounce and then the base is just over at that point. I use my P.E.K.K.A abilities on that Crusher. Crusher goes down and this base is done. It is wiped out. Now, one thing that made this base pretty weak to P.E.K.K.A.s is... He only had 12 defenses placed down on this base with two Teslas. So a lot of times when you see bases that don't have 14 defenses that you can see, because remember, there's a maximum of 14 defenses in the first stage. If you only see 12 of them, most likely they have some Teslas. And when there are Teslas in the first stage, the base is almost always weak to P.E.K.K.A.s because there's just not that many cannons or anything. So if we look here on the stage two, there are a ton of cannons. You know, there's two double cannons and three cannons. So that makes this stage two kind of hard with P.E.K.K.A.s because all those defenses were not in the first stage. They're all saved for the second stage. So I'm going in with the two cannon carts, just like I did in that last replay against Zaki. And here we go. I find a Tesla. I find a bunch of mines, but guess what? My carts just barely get through that Tesla. I have one of them on like one hit point right here. And the guard post troops, they also come out. But look at that. Both of my cards survive. I don't even know how that was possible. But they somehow both survived. And I'm not complaining because it's going to allow me to get through the rest of this base without too much difficulty. Because, yeah, with that Tesla down, these cards have free range of the rest of the base. The only thing that can stop them is that multi-mortar. But if you look at where my battle copter is placed, it's going to take down that multi-mortar. It's going to path right towards it. So, yeah, this base is done. And, uh, yeah, now I'm just being patient. Just like the last replay with these cards. Being very patient. I'm waiting until the last second to deploy these P.E.K.K.A.s. Making sure my battle copter and cards get all the value that they need. And here we go. I use my battle copter ability to get in there. Look at that nice splash damage. I hit all of these buildings with that splash. And, yeah, 20 seconds left on the clock. And these three P.E.K.K.A.s and one bomber. Are just going to be able to wipe out the rest of this base let me put it in on times two here i just come in from the left side because you know that's where all the cannons are i want to take them out as quick as possible and there we go we got the next six star let's get into one more replay final attack we're up against cn silver and pretty nice layout here haven't seen this one before but guess what same approach coming in with pekka's i'll pause it for just a second i have the battle machine going in on the corner just like every single attack guys it's almost the same thing with this pack of strategy battle machine in the corner to charge up its ability and then giant followed by the pekkas and the bomber on the side of the base that i come from and the base is wiped out so i have my giant coming in it's tanking like four i think i don't even know what that was but like five defenses pretty much oh and a tesla 
So that Giants tanking a ton of defenses while my Pekka's just walk through the base. Like my Pekka's haven't even taken damage yet. That's what happens when you have a really nice giant placement is your Pekka's just stay at full health for like half the attack. And I also, I, if you missed it, I had a nice bomber ability. It opened up the rest of the base. And look at this, the Pekka's are just pathing perfectly towards that last compartment. And there we go, got the three star on this first stage. Now I do only have two of them alive. Normally, I managed to have maybe three Pekka's or at least the bombers stay alive as well, but only two this time. However, they're pretty full on health and they both have their abilities, which will be super nice. And so here we go. We're now onto the stage two. And this one probably looks a little bit familiar to you because Zaki was using a very similar one, if not the same one, because it's a good stage two layout. A lot of people on the leaderboards are using this one or some kind of variation of it. But here is how I'm gonna take it down. So I'm going in with my cards. And also, by the way, all the attacks on these bases I'm showing in this video are my first hits on them. So I got the six star on them on my first to try. So I'm going in with these cards, having no idea where the Teslas, where the traps are placed. But yeah, I'm just going in with a two car approach once again, because I don't have that many P.E.K.K.A.s alive. And it's just really helpful when I get two cards in, because look at this. He has a ton of cannons. He's got three cannons, double cannons, crusher, like all those buildings are just free value to hit with carts so yeah i got my carts deployed in a way so they don't hit a tesla or a push trap or if they do then they'll still be okay because they'll finish off whatever pops up for them and i'm just going in just being patient battle machine doing its thing or battle copter on the left side of the base and i'll put this on times two for you because there's not much else to watch i'm just going to deploy my pekas in to wipe out the rest of these defenses both cannon cards on that auto's outpost. All those zappies are going to come out. Pekka's going in on the top. I use their abilities to get through that wall and that Tesla that popped up. And there we go. Bye-bye to this base. That is another six star. And yeah, guys, Pekka's are just so strong. I highly recommend using this exact army composition. Four Pekka's, one giant, and a bomber. And then if you want two cards in the stage two or the Pekka's, some more Pekka's. But yeah, it's... It's not too hard to six star almost every base you come across. That's it for the video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. I'll see you in the next one.